Aeronautical engineering is a highly specialized area. Airwork provide a variety of maintenance services, including turbine repair and overhaul, as well as specialized equipment modifications. Brian Porter is Airwork's aircraft engineering manager. We're looking for commitment. Um, it's three years minimum training. Um, with that, there's a huge cost involved. Each rating course is approximately about twelve and a half to fifteen thousand dollars per engineer. Because there's so much specialisation, apprentices are really taken direct from school. So like the preferred option training. is to pick people from an approved course. Remember, at the end of the day, you are responsible as the individual for the safety of the aircraft. This air ambulance has been out of service for new equipment to be fitted. Because this aircraft's an air ambulance aircraft, it needs to get in all the time into airfields that are closed because of fog. We've installed a brand new GPS, which integrates into the flight instrumentation over here. And it will say, right, I know exactly where I am, I know where the runway is, we know we're going to go there and land. After a test flight, the GPS has the thumbs up and a standby aircraft can be released. An engineer's job is immensely varied and can simply be hard graft. 21-year-old Jamie Anderson is doing his second year of training at Airwork. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's great. Uh, there's plenty of opportunities out there and it's always a challenge when you come to work. It's not the same old stuff every day and uh, getting to work with modern technology uh, and all sorts of work, varying atmospheres, it's great. What we're looking for from the engineer himself is um, the ability to learn, the ability to give back to us and um, to stay within the organisation and more importantly to stay within the industry. The biggest problem with aviation is that kerosene gets into your blood and you, you get addicted to it. You're out here um, at 4 o'clock in the morning, you're out here at 2 o'clock in the evening. People rely on you to do something. And at the end of the day, the phone rings, you have to do something, and that's it. The seats are in, but now there's a problem with the fuel. What we're going to do is we're going to pull the cannon plug off and give it a clean. So it's just a cannon plug here, it's just like a ball socket. Let's pop it off there, check all the pins are straight. If that's the problem, then it's a simple repair. But there's no easy way to find out if it's fixed. We've got a problem with the aircraft. The uh, right-hand engine has got a fuel indication problem. I've transposed the gauges and we'll now do an engine run to see if it's satisfactory or not. If not, we'll look into it further. OK, then we're going to be starting now number one engine. We'll hold for that and then we'll be starting number two engine from there, OK? Temperature's coming up. Temperature's rushing. Oil push is good. Tell them we're going to take it up to 40% power. Once again, it seems to be flowing all right. The test is successful and the plane will shortly be on its way. This career can take you anywhere and everywhere. I've been to Iceland, Switzerland, Sweden, right through Europe, England, time in the States. Um, it, it, the, it's your oyster. You open it, you decide. For more information on this program, visit our website at www.justajob.co.nz. The link is in the video description below. And don't forget to subscribe as we have more new videos coming out every week.